Hello everyone, welcome back. Now we will start our section 2 where we will be looking into a lot of different distributions. But before getting into distributions, we need to understand what is probability density function and what is cumulative distribution function. To explain you PDF and CDF, I have taken a random variable which is uniformly distributed and it is ranging from A to B. Now let's say we want to know if we randomly pick a value between A and B then what will be its probability to be less than x so if i draw x somewhere here so we want to know what it will be its probability to be less than x so to get this value from pdf we need to take the area under the curve from a to x and if you want to get this same value from cdf what we can do is we can just have that value on x-axis and uh, we can see its intersection with our CDF line and we can take this particular value on y-axis so this will give us that same value and uh, just like that if I keep moving my this x pointer in this particular direction so let's say in the beginning I had x here then we had it here then we had it here, then we had it here. So it was giving me probability of points being less than that. So just like that, when I am moving parallel to x axis on my PDF, I move along our CDF line here like this. So you must have understood it intuitively. Now if I have to give you equation, our CDF is nothing but our integration of PDF. So in case of uh, uniformly distributed variables, we have f of x as 1 by b minus a. Now if I want to get our CDF from it, so this is nothing but PDF. So now I want uh, CDF. So what I will do is I will do, I will do from a to x and this will become I should have I taken something else instead of x here uh, but yeah this is our lower limit this is our upper limit now if I put upper limit it will be this minus lower limit so this is the equation of this particular line you can see that it's a equation of a straight line now that you have understood what is PDF and what is CDF and how to extract a particular value from both of these uh, curves, let me give you a very realistic example of it so that you can actually make sense out of it. So here you can see I have generated 1000 data points which are normally distributed with the mean at 160 and standard deviation of 5 so this generally represents the woman's height which is normally distributed so you can say that this particular pdf represents the distribution of woman's height and uh, to plot this curve you can use uh, seaborn kde plot and uh, there you can just pass your data and these are just uh, label these are options so you don't really have to uh, provide these for cumulative distribution function you can use kd plot but there you can have cumulative as equal to true so let's say if we randomly pick a height we want to know what will be its probability to be less than 160 so you can see here that we have 50 percent of the data this side and 50 percent of the data this side so if we calculate area under the curve from this to this it will be 0 0.5 and always area under the curve of pdf from start to end will be one so we know that half of the data is this side and half of the data is that side so we will have our probability as 0 0.5 and if you want to see that same thing on cdf we can extend this line all the way to here where it is intersecting and now if we see it on our 
y axis we can see that it is again coming to 0 0.5 so the probability will be 50 50 to be on either of the sides now if you want to see what will be the probability of height being less than 150 so we can again take area under the curve of this one or we can just go here and take this particular point so it looks like 0 0.0 zero one or maybe something like that so yeah it is close to that now we know if we want to see the values or the probability of a value being less than something we can take area of this side what about if we want greater than we can just calculate this particular area and we can do one minus and we will get that same uh, value from pdf from cdf again we can do same we will just take this line there and we want to know how much data point we have on this side so we can do that by taking this value here so let's say it is 0 0.9 we can do 1 minus 0 0.9 and we will get our answer so this is how you can interpret pdf and cdf and i hope it made more sense and it was intuitive to understand and if you want to play around you can have different distributions you can have different mean you can have different standard deviation you can generate a lot of different number of points and play around to understand more and you can use this particular code snippet so yeah uh, this is it for this video we will discuss about normal distribution in uh, next video so hope to see you in the next one happy learning